What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss Terrell. Thank you for stopping by Esteem Queen and Mentality. Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Now, I know this looks like another car edition. And you're right, it is. I got to run a, a couple a couple errands, so y'all going to have to just come with me and just brace yourself. At least you're not in the car with me while I'm driving, so count your blessings. But anyhow, I want to have a quick tea talk with y'all real quick tea talk and this tea talk is actually a really good one so i received a question in and they wanted to know what were my thoughts in regards to moving forward but still being interested in what is behind them very very interesting question um she put it in the text of pretty much you know she went through a season in her life but at the same time though that that season taught her a lot she wondered if it was okay to open the door again just to see what was going on and what I had to explain to her is is that when it comes down to what you're learning as far as seasons and growth are concerned it's real easy I'll make sure y'all see my eyes it's real it's real easy for us to feel as if like just because it comes back and it you know knocks on our door or brings some type of attention to our forethought we're to acknowledge what is going on so she wanted to put it in further context of well what i'm trying to ask you miss terrell is it is it okay if someone's too late being like if they're too late but they get it you know what i'm saying it's kind of like i guess she was pretty much putting it in, in the contents of hey i was with that person in that season it didn't work and now that seasons have changed and people you know um understand more they're more in a position to say well you know what i can come back and say that i could have done better and i'm here to show that and she wanted to know my thoughts about it and I honestly told her, there's two different types of uh, uh, sorting for forgiveness. And I did a video on this. The first one, of course, is, you know, you forgive and you move on. But then there's also the thing of, you know, you can move on and, and allow time to sort out your forgiveness. Because let's be real. Let's be honest. Not everyone deserves your forgiveness. And when it comes down to you thinking that, you know what, I just think it's, you know, it's, 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 you know a later time in regards to us meeting up with one another but i don't think it's too late for us to try it again yeah it is yeah it is this is why it's so important for you to put forth your best effort when you have that chance and opportunity because you know these days and times we only have one and if you sit there and you take it for granted because you feel as if like in another hour, another day, another week, another year, you'll be afforded the same opportunity with that person. Look, everybody, everybody, let me go ahead and say them both, everybody and everybody grows, but not everybody changes. You feel me? So where it is, you feel like, you know, you just, you, you feel like someone deserves for them to pretty much be there again no they don't they don't because at the end of the day it's just like what's the point of me telling you why i'm in that season what what i'm you know what my boundaries and my minimums and maximums are that is to be sure that you can get the most out of whatever it is and, and wherever it is that you at in your life journey so no i told her i said no it is too late because you got to think of it like this if you always leave that door half cracked, half open for anyone to be curious, no matter what they chose as a, a choice or de a decision, regardless if it has something to do with you, which for her it did, then it's done. It is done. Like whatever's done is done. And for it to be a thing of they want to come back around because of, oh, just a thing of come on come across the street now i swear when people see you in the car look if this was black friday y'all motherfuckers would have ran me the fuck over and i got the vehicle huh <sighs> anyhow like i was saying um 10 
yeah we get to a point where we're like look we're in a good place maybe this person has learned no you've learned no you've changed no you understand that person they just trying to see where you at they just trying to see if you hot or cold when it's too late they always come back that's the one thing i've always always seemed to learn is that when it's too late they always come back and when they always come back it's too late you have to understand we all don't have the same journey but we do run into each other we do bump into each other and at the end of the day if you know time has sorted out whatever it is that it was needed for you to understand in order for you to grow then yeah it is a little too late it is a little too late for there to be a conversation on the table about well look things could have been better you right and they weren't so what's the problem with this but now that you didn't glowed up and got yourself together got your body right got your mind right you didn't graduate from from peasant and peon to you know looking at yourself to be you uniquely and divinely made now all of a sudden the person want to come and be like hey so i just want to hope all is well with you it is and being that it is and i don't owe you a thing you got to keep it pushing because again it comes down to this you had your time so now it's time for you to move on it's almost like my video about lurking behind the curtain ain't no way you about to come back up here and have a second show if i ain't like the first one i'm not paying for no ticket and i'm not giving you no time so it's the same it's it's parallel like you don't want to admit that it's a little too late but you know what you know it is because queens and kings once they figured out a spot place and position where they have to work on what it is that made them vulnerable don't go back to what broke you and don't give time to what doesn't need it or afford it you gotta understand everybody can write checks but is there money in the bank account to cash them so when it comes down to them feeling, seeing, and knowing, and the energy is pulling away, and they want to come back, that is because that's why they want to come back. They feel your energy pulling away. But you know what? Again, it's too late. We all have a chance to make our bed. We get to choose what store we want to get our sheets from. But at the end of the night, it's up to us to lie in it. If you want to lay on the floor, I don't give a damn. You're still in the same room. But it's a little too late. And she didn't like she didn't like it but you know what there's gonna be a lot of things in life that you don't like we ain't like vegetables growing up but we figured out you know what if we don't eat enough of those while we're young our bones will not develop properly we will not have efficient iron levels to get anything done because we'll have no energy our eyesight will be piss poor because we don't eat enough carrots and um, our immune system will be crap because we don't put no vitamin C in it so at the end of the day, don't tell me what you don't like. Because I know we don't like bills. I, don't, I damn sure know we don't like bills nor taxes. Okay, well, you got to look at it the same way. Someone wants to come back and put something in your face. A, B, C, D, F, G. Check this out. It's a little too late. I, I ain't for paying taxes twice. And you ain't going to tax me to death with your peasant ass actions. So when it comes down to someone wanting to reminisce and, and want you to go back down on memory lane and you want to see if it's worth it, but then you don't know if it really is, then you want to turn around and want to say, well, you know, I remember the days when it was good, but yet y'all still not together. You can kiss a whole baby on that one. It's too late. It's too late. And people typically come around when it's too late because you've moved on. And that's just that when you move on you don't sit in spot you don't sit in the same place i wish i would find someone doing some shit like that we got we then, then, then we definitely gonna have a tea talk but there ain't no way in hog heaven with pigs flying and walmart giving away free groceries you should sit here and assume that just because the person came back around feeling as if like you're worth their time they're worth yours nah player that's a street that has a no outlet sign in the beginning of it and if you don't pay attention, you will find your ass completely doing over the speed limit straight into a ditch. And that's what happens when you go back the second time, especially if the person that's come around the second time is the person that has done wrong to you. You don't give them no second option. You don't give them no second choice. You don't give their ass no plan B, plan C, plan D. It's too late. 
know your worth stand on your two feet and let it be known if this is what it's going to be and if this is how it's going to be and this is how it is motherfucker checkmate because you didn't already burn yourself once and i don't know nobody about nobody else i ain't for the burning i don't care what body part i'm not for the burning you can keep all that to yourself i don't even like food poisoning so why why put myself through that you feel me who likes to get taxed twice so don't put yourself through it if it's too late it's too late don't feel bad about saying that it's too late because you know what everybody got the same 24 hours in a day they wasted theirs damn sure ain't gonna talk my head off about empty ass promises that i've already seen your true colors so again this is why it's so important that you sit here and you put the same time effort and energy in because when everything is said and done and you have to be the person to explain all of that there's nothing to explain when you come back around and you have egg on your face because you thought you made the right decision nah you know some people gonna try to figure it out the wrong way that the grass ain't always green on the other side and i've said that many many times but you know what for the ones who who getting it they got it and for the ones who need it they about to get it so make sure that y'all like share subscribe hit that notification bell i gotta go to the grocery store and i will talk to y'all on the next tea talk bye <laughs>